Shall I harvest one? Yeah, please. Is yeah, it sure. tasty? Yeah, sure. It's tastier than regular yes, okra. Yes, huh? yes, yes, nice. And every day you'll get one from each plot. Achha. See my face and see the leaf. How big it's bigger than my face. Did you take the IPL catch? <laughs> okay, so today we are at Mr. Vishwanath Reddy's farm, and this is his second farm near his home. We have you might have earlier seen uh, his video on our channel where we were talking about his how his he has a farm which is a do nothing farm right and this is a patch of land which he has been trying to set up where uh, i think in december december yeah, end december, yes, so yes. december december end this was started. basically completely barren land right barren land uh, barren land in the sense it was earlier a wet field and now we have it has been filled with the landfill okay okay a landfill land okay okay so uh, i think it was like this if you see the soil was kind of like this initially like just a few months back this is right now march march end and december it, the soil was like this right so now uh, so i think what we are really keen to learn today is how do you take this to a do nothing farm and how much time uh, will it take uh, there was a big challenge with doing this okay since it was a landfill mm -hmm. so i had a challenge because there is a dead soil so I wanted to convert uh, into a farm, okay. And it was challenging every time. I used to think how people start from the scratch. Hmm. Though I am a farmer, because my ancestors were farmer, it, I mean I didn't have that kind of uh, risk in that. Hmm. But since it was a landfill, hmm. I thought, "Chalo, let me start. How to start? See, everyone has the same question when you start organic farming. Right? How how they will start? Right? So even that was also going in my mind. Then I thought, "Chalo, let me do." Then this trench idea came. Okay, so can you show us this trench yeah, thing? Yeah, these are the trenches. So this was the first thing that you did when yes, you I, found this I land. I just dug the trenches. Okay, and then started uh, filling all the organic material, whatever I get from the nearby apartments. Okay, the garden let's waste. go and have a look at that organic material. So first step was you leveled the land a little bit. Yeah, I leveled the land a little bit, not fully. Huh. After that, you dug trenches. Uh, tren These trenches uh. were about two feet. Two feet, yes. Two, two feet, feet wide, deep. two feet deep. Mm. The leaves, all of this, whatever, whatever yeah. I get from the right, apartment right. waste. And this season, especially, you will see a lot of this dry waste yes, coming yes, in, yes, right? Yes, February, so, March. And then I started thing. filling them. So you and will fill it just as it is. Just as it is. Okay. I didn't do anything. Okay. Because it was a challenge. Because you can see this. It's like a rock only. Hmm. Hmm. There is no organic matter. It's hmm. as hard as rock. Right. It is so compacted. There's compacted. no life in it. There is no life in it. It won't. There is no life, and it won't hold any water only. Hmm. So if a plant also, it will be a challenge for me. So right. I just had the idea came, and then we put the organic matter here. Okay. And then we planted this banana. Got Why it. banana? Okay. Let's go towards the banana. Yeah. Facing was around five and ten feet. Okay. So five, five feet, feet this side, this and side, ten feet that ten side. Ten feet row. Okay. And, and this is beside the trenches. No, no, in the trench only. In the trench itself. Yes. You. In the so trench. in the trench, first you pulled up the the biomaterial, biomaterial the garden waste, etc. And then I planted and then the banana planted seedlings. This. These are all the tissue cultured ones. You do not put any farmyard manure. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Okay. No I, compost. No farmyard no, manure. Sir, nothing. nothing. You okay. can see. I didn't do anything. Okay. Then along with that, mm -hmm. I put all the greens in that. Okay. Okay. Short term uh, greens. Uh, yeah, yeah. All I took the chance. Hmm. Let me try with the greens and all, and hmm. they also gave it, uh, gave very good. Got it. So, got it. So I, I didn't weed anything. So huh. I got the crop also. Got it. I had by this thing, and you can see now. Hmm. Here all... I uh, still I'm uh, yet to harvest. Right. So right. I have kept open. Now after harvesting, I will put the soil inside. Get question. I'll cover it up with the mud. Right. So these all have already become so tall in like three no. four months, is it? Yeah, yeah, no. They are around uh, one year old. One Those two years old. End one two years old. What yeah. about these ones? 
these are all three, three, three months. months. You can see some plants are as though they are planted yesterday. Right, 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 right. Right. Though they are not uniform, but they are all growing, they are not dying. So, and yuck. you can see the okras and all, which mm. I have planted uh, next to the banana. Shall I harvest one? Yeah, please. <coughs> Is yeah, it so. tasty? Yeah, sure. It's tastier than regular yes, okra. Yes, huh? yes, yes. Nice. Okay. And every day you will get one from each plant. Achha. Okay, okay. Cool. One more thing is, since I have planted all the tree varieties with a distance of 20 by 20. Okay. Okay. You can see already. I will just show you here. You can see a butterfruit here within a 20 feet. See, again you have a mango here. Okay. Okay. And there are again mango. So the big canopy trees at 20 feet distance. Yes. Yeah, every 20 feet I have planted. The banana is 5 feet on one side and 10 feet 10 on feet other, other side. side. Okay. And this is the major crop for me. Okay. In the longer run. The avocado is the longer run. Longer run. run. Okay. And right. Right. You see here. We are not spraying anything and we are not using anything. No. Hmm. 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 They are resistant to all those things. Hmm. And moreover, we are not going for a monocrop here. Right. Everything are, is mixed together. Yes. So see, here, here you have okra. Right. The next to it, there is an onion. Right. Onion will repel pests also because ah, it's pungent. That, right. That is the idea of it, sir. Okay. Okay. What all I have, I am putting it. Hmm. You can see here. Onion is there. Hmm. Okra is there. Hmm. Now I will hmm. be putting the creeper seeds here, hmm. 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 which will cover the soil till the monsoon. Got it. Uh, once that is done, our sunlamp will take over. Okay. Sunlamp will be the regular crop. Hmm. As in Mysore, hmm. my farm, I, as I was telling earlier, uh, uh, sprinkle the seeds and hmm. then harvest the crop. That's Got it. it. We Got just it. chop it and leave it. Got it. Got That's it. the so, only work we do. So, like in 7-8 months, this farm is going to become completely self-sustaining. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? No need to work at all. Hmm. Only thing is you have to harvest. Just come and harvest and harvest. sometimes sow new and stuff. And if you leave them, no. Hmm. That seeds only will fall there and you will get a crop there. Okay. Okay. I will show you. That is happening. Okay. Hibiscus is there yeah, as well. We, that will attract a lot of bees and all. Ah, so you want pollination to happen, yes, that's yes. why you have put in all of right. these flowering yes, plants. Yes, you are not going to get crop from it, but it will help your other crops yeah, sure, basically. Sure. And so from this one, uh, this sort of a thing, when your banana harvest is ready after let's say 12 months or so, yeah. how much harvest will you get in one season from this one acre, this sort of a plot? Ah. Less than 2 lakhs. Oh, that is a bare minimum I'm telling you. Per year. Per, per year. year, yes. Just from the banana crop banana itself. Only. That's a While year. you are waiting for your main crop avocados to start coming, which is a higher value crop. Ah, right? That will be after five years. Ah. But till then, I mean, even that is also not small amount with your hmm. do-nothing farm. Hmm. So actually, if that is the case, you know, what people should do is, they should all, there is so much of land lying around Bangalore. They should just lease it out. Because leasing itself is only 50,000 per acre inside Bangalore. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Lease it out, grow these sort of things, and then sell it. No, no. Right? If they don't get money, also it's fine. Huh. If they allow some people to work on their farm, that is more than enough. Right, right, right. At right. least now, why? I mean, now we are all facing the uh, water scarcity. Why? Correct. You say we have become a concrete jungle now. Correct, correct. Uh, what else I can say? Onion, huh. okra. Uh, greens, all kind of greens have grown even from Kothamiri to hmm. Palak. Yeah. Okay, this is, you have left the whole oh, big one for, for seed, seed itself. Yes, yes, yes. Got it, got it, got it. Which are mature, it's better to leave it for so seed. So, sponge god is that loofa plant, right? Yeah, here, 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 here. It's the tender one, yeah. <coughs> right, right, right. So, this is something I want to talk about a little. See, when you are buying cauliflowers in the market, you feel like, Oh, organic cauliflowers, they should be big and white color. In <laughs> summer, it will not be, right? In summer, it will get this yellowish tinge. It's a natural process. And it's much better to buy these sort of things than the beautiful looking white cauliflower. And because you can those see have the been bleached. pink cabbages. Yeah, these are there those are, red cabbages the, for salad. Yeah. And I you can see no holes in the hmm. uh, leaves. You right. can see no. Right. You have not sprayed neem oil also? Nothing. nothing no sir. neem oil nothing, also? Nothing, nothing. Interesting, interesting. You can see. <laughs> How, for next round of vegetables, how will you make sure that soil is fertile or soil will take care of itself? Nothing, sir, sir. Though we have, we analyze a lot, huh. go into chemical analysis, huh. but I don't think we can practice on the field. Hmm. Hmm. That I know. Hmm. Hmm. No one will practice if they go either the either of the extremes. Hmm. 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 Though hmm. the 
what we have the package of practice they say this much of ammonia is required right who is going to give Monica. that much of ammonia right and what will the losses right. as you said earlier huh. lot of ammonia will go into the correct i mean that how will it escape nitrogen even volatilization that will depend upon the temperature on that day correct correct how you are applying it correct so i don't believe in all those things i just believe what you are supposed to do hmm. you plant it and leave it hmm. that will give that will do it. what is, what is this this is my uh, what do you say insurance policy no no not insurance <laughs> my what is that uh, uh, retirement a uh, retirement pension plan. fund yeah uh, right <laughs> so when this grows so, up yeah, well, after 10 years you will get at once you will get at once how much money one silver oak tree how much is it sell for now sir it all depends upon the person who is going to buy for that purpose okay but good money you can good make. money you'll get at least not less than 20000 rupees i think from one tree yeah, around even after 10 20 years huh. it's it's like every year 1000 1500 rupees we are uh, investing adding it, right adding it. automatically and you are not doing anything sun is doing water uh-huh. is doing it will be a saving account right right and i will not leave like this only no hmm. Hmm. by another two years i will be uh, making my uh, what do you say our uh, uh, pepper Huh. to grow on it oh, i will okay. not live like this got it got it in my sir i already tried even huh. here also you won't live like this huh. everything will be done uh, we will go for cardamom ha 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 okay once the microclimate yes, is better yes, things are a little you, you can do yeah. sir i have tried in mysore hmm. we are getting last year i got around 8 to 10 kg of cardamom hmm. good cardamom hmm. let's talk about this story uh, this so there is a tree at this farm so when he was doing earthwork nearby in near vartor ha huh. they were supposed to remove it hmm. i hmm. said chalo we'll remove hmm. but i will take it wait 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 why have you covered it with that to make it wet okay. to uh, i mean to not let it dry okay okay because it does not right now have enough leaves and yeah, yeah, yeah. things otherwise it will dry ah. see this is the main source of food for it stem only the food will be stored correct so what we did is we Uh, chopped it around a uh, fortnight back okay okay Fort before you back. did the transplant yeah yeah because we so first to... you chopped then you dug it out yeah yeah then... because even that should that even it's a it's a, a plant with a life right hmm. so it should not get a shock hmm. so for that we started uh, cutting it fortnight before hmm. and then we prepared for that so something is going to happen get ready got it then after 15 days we uprooted and got it here and we are covered with gunny bags and we used to water every day hmm, these right. are all nothing these are the new ones here you will right. be fast forward by 20 years fast forward you have saved we will save 20 years of your life ah. and imagine how much jackfruit this will give this will give enough jackfruit to you know feed the entire village earlier i have spent around 20000 rupees sir in labor yes sir that's all until now i did not spend much money hmm. recently with the because in this i can't let the vehicle come in Ha. so no uh, vehicle can work here hmm. only with the manual work i mean with manual digging we have closed all the trenches right so that cost had me around 10000 rupees got it got it other than that only here and there hmm. you can see sir hmm. Hmm. people say without that you can't grow vegetables you cannot grow it organically you, <laughs> you can like see that. i mean <laughs> you don't find any see i have closed see what they what is the difference between them and me is huh. they would have planted another two here in between huh. i have skipped it okay okay, okay. it's like a corona hmm. if there is any cut off it won't continue right you right. have to just break the barrier huh. you break if it's it. the same cauliflower rose and rose ah, then know. one pest will come ah. that will give some bachchas <laughs> no that's what go to the next one same right? thing uh, i mean that much Uh, poison as it poison is poison it is right nice lesson but i learned very costly <laughs> very costly lesson i learned uh, uh, you okay. can see the carrot also here carrots etc carrot yes sir so you can stop buying vegetables for yourself now oh, you can we, just get everything yeah, yeah i mean uh, most of the things we will be getting here only no ha ha see so farming is not that tough it is not rocket science no, no, we will look at it <laughs> Okay. Huh. They are growing. Huh. By another uh, uh, 15-20 days, it will be uh, the crop will be over. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. See, 
since the soil is very hard, I will that's show you. That's why it is that twisting is why, and turning. Uh, they right? are not able to penetrate. Correct, correct. But this process of growing it will also improve the soil because yeah, I mean, it will go in and it will lose see, in the soil. I, I am not for this crop now. Hmm. Hmm. Only thing is I have to cover the soil. I have to lose. And you have to soil. lose in the soil, right? Yeah. Now I will hmm. wait for some more time, huh. maybe by another 15 days. Huh. Then I will cover it with the soil. Right, right. I want the thing to be there only. Right. right, right. And radish also, of course, is a very good yeah, yeah, yeah. loosening of soil thing. So crops are not just for eating, but for uh, working yeah, on the field. To enrich our you are soil not also. going to put labor in the field. You are going to plant root crops so that they go ahead and dig your soil and See, make it ready. That right? is a good example. Huh. How hard the soil is. Correct, correct. That you is not see. able to grow. Correct. When you grow on a uh, raised bed, huh. you will get a straight one. Correct, correct. But you have to put in a lot of effort in creating fingers. the raised bed. And we right. have got a lot of fingers. Right, right. And so I see that getting decomposed and almost becoming yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. compost slash manure, right? Yes, it's sir, already yes, becoming decomposing here itself here in the pile. Yes, yes, yes. So I have, I have spared a little to fill these trenches, sir. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So these trenches I have not filled. Huh, so huh. now I have to fill it. I have to. Uh, I mean, some people will take these greens also. Right, 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 right. So when I came here, I think just two months back, nothing it was, was there. nothing was there. Nothing was there. <laughs> now you, now you can see. You can oh, see. see this beautiful pumpkin. Yeah, yes. Now you are seeding them. <laughs> wow. And by the way, pumpkin flowers also you can eat. So you can just harvest the yeah. male flowers and you can make a bhaji out of it. It's uh, amazing. Now if I leave this, hmm. next time I, I need not have to go for any seed now. Hmm. Hmm. These seeds only will do hmm. for me. Hmm. 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 These seeds will mature hmm. and they fall and they will grow. Hmm. I can eat it just like that, no? Ah, this is like a quite mature one. Yeah, then nice. it's fine. And this is the country one. A green color round one. Ah, it's okay. a country, a forest. Uh, so this will be almost like, this will give last for a long time. It's not no, like one yeah, season. You, if I graft this, it will give Become, for a longer time. Mm, achha, okay. And this is very good uh, vegetable. Hmm, hmm. Correct. And uh, birds love this. Achha? Okay. I mean, you can attract more birds for this. Mm. 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 There, there, here, everything. Right, a lot of pumpkins also ah. in the trenches. You can see the ash gods. Brilliant thing actually, right? Ash god juice, for example. If you have it's ash god juice everyone. every day, it will clean your body of ah. all sorts of and toxins. And this is one this more that. variety of okra. Okay. This, this is, is the elephant tusk okra. Ah, is it? I don't know what they call Bigger. it. Hmm. Overgrown. The okra ah. is a large size okra, right? Of a variety that which is, is large. That is seed purpose. I have only few. Uh, oh, this ash god is so good, man. <laughs> nice. For two years, there is no income, nothing. nothing. You I have grown survive. pumpkin, you will survive. You That's know? it. <laughs> See, actually, human huh. beings need less. Right, right. Because of his greediness, we are going out of the way yeah. to acquire everything. Yeah. And we have planted this also, hmm. that uh, chenduva, uh, gold mower, or just marigold. Marigold. Uh, but this. Of course, marigold have to be sprayed. Ah. Right. Even if they come also, they will die. Right. So it's better to get this spray. That ash gourd is also so good. Uh, Peta is also made from ash gourd. Yeah, yeah. Candied yeah, yeah. ash gourd, yes, right? Yes. Amazing taste. And these are all flowering plants. So much of ash gourd goes to Agra every year. Okay. Where? From our uh, house, they have bought uh, this and uh, they have planted here. Uh, uh, uh. You see, you can see, no? Hmm. Uh, How much does it cost to set up drip irrigation in like one acre? No, this is all uh, I have only set up. Okay. Like around, uh, maybe around uh, eight, nine thousand. That's all, huh? That's all. Okay. For the pipes, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how much for these, the PVC, these... Uh, no, that's what, uh, around maximum... Even these pipes also include? Yeah, maximum around 15,000, that's it. So. Okay. 
thoda sa work for them do you want to try that uh, rain pipes those i have tried i have tried how that. is it uh, the they are doing you? good okay but thing is the challenge is now it's okay hmm. on a barren line hmm. that yeah. will fall that off will on, fall the get, on the leaves or this i have tried that maza padan se so de super so their sprinkler might be a little better yeah 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 there hmm. that's what i am trying for both okay but right. once it grows bigger the roots will not be there i mean hmm. roots will be there but hmm. root ends will be somewhere here hmm. uh, if the roots are root ends are here and if you are watering it there rice there sambar there next plate how to take sir in bangalore you can check go through that we are not come across any drought okay. only thing is the rain falling in uh, june it may it may be either uh, they it will have pre pon or post pon no all these people living in uh, apartment and, uh, complexes they are going to the malls to use the restroom there it seems that, that, that's what <laughs> see nobody is interested in saving water hmm. so basically what you are saying if is if they, we save if they, water if, they if we use the, it consciously then there is adequate water yes see i it's am using i am harvesting my rain water i am using the solar hmm. power hmm. to my house hmm. 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 there are many ways hmm. to become Friendly. self sufficient and air and but we are not using it and no one has that inclination right right everyone right. has sufficient money right but right. not uh, sufficient mind to right invest into this right mm. now if any one single rain will come it will hold the water mm. now in my longer run mm. that root will be somewhere here root end right right so right with the sufficient water it will all loosen up it, will it won't die and banana also conditions the soil a little right it releases water into the soil ah, and things and like that I will, uh, and as i have shown you in the, my old farm here in huh. bangalore only huh. uh you can see it's so dry hmm but hmm. you can see the uh yield and all right right on I top it will feel dry but there is moisture i am giving inside. water once a week once a week only once a yeah. week and a drip hmm only thing is i am uh, interested in covering my fencing Okay. By the uh, way, how old are you? How young are you? <laughs> I am around fifty-eight years now. Okay. Okay. My passion started in twenties. Huh. Okay. But it took me so long huh. to get to figure out that okay, don't think too much. Simple things only work, <laughs> right? No need to do all because yes, yes. you used to do a lot of research around farming, yes, etc. Yes, right? Yes, yes. I have done, sir. I have taken all kind of risks. Huh. even in my sericulture also i used to tell you give the crop i mean any new one hmm. i will get you the uh, crop hmm. because scientists going and telling a farmer hmm. about the variety they won't they will not be ready to accept right right if the farmer tells right they will accept <laughs> if there is something good for the farmers let me try right i am ready to take that risk right acha that uh, red amaranthus i see that you have left it you are going yeah, to collect yeah, yeah. seeds i have left many sir they give there So and nowadays day. everybody is saying amaranth is like it's uh, super food super is being food. sold for yeah. like you know hundreds of rupees per kg the amaranth seeds and all of that right we feel that oh we are poor we we, we have not don't have anything same thing ha- is happening with the uh, that uh, fenugreek seeds hmm that what is that agse yeah 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 what do you call that moringa also uh, moringa also right yeah, see uh, yeah, that was there in our this thing it was always there right was there but yeah. now we have left it right 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 what is this ah uh, this is uh, our uh, uh, mulberry ah okay uh, mulberry leaves <laughs> our people morning they come first hmm. here Huh. eat the fruit to see if that black this is the black red yes black uh, black one they okay. eat and there's they a white variety also himalayan mulberry yeah, they I call it variety. slightly bigger yeah yeah but i am not able to reproduce it okay okay the lengthy one <laughs> show you see my face and see the leaf how big it's bigger than my face the entire okra leaf and more and of, so healthy and more of the health so this is the advantage of using nutty not varieties not even one single Whole over it. Correct, correct, correct. Not only one plant, sir. All the plants are like you can see here. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. And you don't have to buy seeds again because you'll just huh. save some seeds and use it. No, This is red lady only, but it has become so big, huh? Uh, not red lady actually. Not red lady. <laughs> you pair one lady. Are they chop gown? Cut that. Did you take the IPL catch? <laughs> now there is a nice. It's also hot and sunny outside. Now here it's huh. so nice and cool. This is this is the thing. And if you uh, see all of this, will do for you. Yeah, and if you see all of these banana leaves, right? We were talking initially about 
these banana leaves will fall and they will cure, create automatic ground cover so that you don't have to again go get grass clippings etc. This is what will happen with these banana leaves. The shade from the direct sun will come, all of these leaves will fall on the ground, right? Which will basically form your mulch. Volunteers to come at your farm and work with you and say, okay, today I'm go we are going to do all of this work. People want to learn farming, right? Let no, them no. come and do work. That concept was there. Huh. I mean, people around my house only, many people asked me in the beginning. Huh. Huh. But once we started, no one cared. <laughs> That's what. So people usually say that, uh, huh. let me do some farming. Then once they come and then they're like, okay, I have to do all this digging uh, in the sun. One, sun, <laughs> one Sunday is enough. <laughs> Not Sunday, Sunday is enough. <laughs> one Sunday, sunny day is enough. Sunny day is enough for them to... Uh, get off this agriculture. <laughs> okay, okay, These okay. are the things which are harvesting today. Huh. Sponge, Sponge gods. This is rich god and this is a nutty variety of rich god. So you can see that it's short and round. See, right? it's still tender. Yeah. These are the shorter ones. Right? This is of course red cabbage after taking the A out. Oh, nice. So this is a muskmelon. That is a disco pumpkin. Ah, yeah, yeah. This is a muskmelon. Kharbuja. So nice. Yesterday we had watermelon also. Perfect condition. Maximum two days they'll fully become ah. ripe and beautifully tasting. I'll be growing for all the uh, going for the greens here. Huh. So that uh, I can just spray the seeds here huh. and leave it. Right. Right. Just greens now. Yeah Oh, sir, pain the udo. Rap say. Our fourth and third corner. Obviously, it does not give so much of ah. A. If it is an a empty line, it's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is this? What is this one? Our uh, fashion fruit. Passion fruit, okay. We have a couple of seedlings there also. <laughs> which we have so, a... this will become full passion fruit. Eh? Yes, plant. Mm -hmm. nice. See the amount of flowers it has given. Correct. Correct. Cool. I think uh, we are done.